Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video and in today's video we're doing what if Hinata gave Naruto her Byakugan. So let's get into it. Wait a wait nigga. Uh. So this story starts off well after he um after the tuning exams. Now Hinata could not was not going to make it. She because of Neji Neji actually you know the Joni didn't arrive in time and Neji did land his final blow. So they called every doctor they could to extend her life as much as they possibly could to around two days. Now here she had told. Had told Hinata that the elders would be coming soon to place a cur um a curse a bird's um, a case bird seal on her forehead on her, so that when she dies the Byakugan is unsealed. And Hinata wants to do one last thing for the one person that she truly loves, this being Naruto. So Hinata will call for Kurunai and ask her to bring the Hokage with her. Now a user would come in, he would ask Hinata what was wrong, why was he needed? And Hinata would say that she wants to leave the leave the clan and if she goes to her father he won't allow it, but the Hokage can override all of that and do it himself. Twitch Hewson says he knows that if he she does leave the clan then she'll she, they might force the Bukage Burst on her. She wish she said that she has she wants to the only reason she's doing this is because she wants to implant her Byakugan into that of Nart into Naruto. And he was able to ask say um oh, well he wouldn't ask, he would tell her that she would have to get Naruto's permission first. And would call for Naruto. And Naruto would be extremely saddened to see Hinata knowing that Hinata won't make it through the, you know through well to, she won't make it at all. She's going to die soon. And would rush to go see her. Now what he would come in, he would run up and hug Hinata. And Hinata would hug him back. As Naruto would say, I I'm sorry. If if I would have if I was faster, I could have saved you. Hinata says, Don't worry, Naruto. It's okay. I'm willing to go. At least I'm going peacefully. And I die by at least I die by my Families by my cousin's hands instead of some enemy. Naruto, I have a question for you. Naruto will ask you, Naruto, what is the question? See, Naruto would then ask Naruto to take her Byakugan and implant them into his own eyes. Now, Naruto will first off deny saying that he couldn't deal with that. That would hurt her even more and increase and, you know, shorten the days she has left, which is around like four more days. He not simply say that she doesn't have much time, that he has to, that her clan is planning on placing the case bird seal on, on her, and that'll completely rule it off. And she would then tell Naruto that there's a reason why she wants him to have it. She told him that she has always believed in him, finally confessing her feelings to Naruto, saying that she's always believed in Naruto, that she was always there and she will always be, be, be there to watch over him, and, to, well, to basically watch over him. And help him on his way to Hokage with using her Byakugan. Naruto will begin to cry. And see Naruto will ask him to take it just as one last favor for her. So Naruto will finally agree and will decide to take the Byakugan. Twitch Yuzin will call in a nurse. And would go to his office to get the right paper paperwork. And would have Hinata sign this paperwork before they put her, not put her down, but put her under... No extreme sleep so that she won't feel any pain and won't shorten her days because Naruto doesn't really know how it works. Anyways, Hinata, Hinata would have her Byakugan removed and Naruto would be placed on the table right next to her and would go into surgery. It would have the both both the Byakugan implanted into his eyes. Now Naruto, um. When Naruto will wake up, it would be like a couple hours later, due to the Kyuubi's healing factor. The Kyuubi healed his eyes, so they're perfectly usable. Now, Hinata's will, will already been awakened, but, you know, she can't see. She doesn't have a Byakugan any longer. As Naruto asks Hinata why, 
Why couldn't she have told him any of that before? Why couldn't she have confessed her love, confessed her love to him before? See, not the sense that she just never had the courage, but he always did give him cur give her courage to continue to fight, to continue. And she would ask Nanta one last thing, to help the Hugo clan get rid of the cage bird seal. So Nanta would do this, and him and Hinata would share a hug. So Nanta would then kiss Hinata, and says, "I'll see you later. I don't know if I can stay and see you like this." See, Nato would tell Nato, it's alright. It's Nato will leave. And so this is after the one month, um, this is during the one month training period. So Nato will head out to the hot springs and, well, will come across a man peeping on women. Now, Ebisu had came before Naruto and was about to, well, it was actually just starting to tell the man to stop peeping on women. That, that, basically doing what Ebisu does. And he saw the man summon a toad, well, bring out a large toad that beat up the, you know, the Jonin, a Jonin. And he would go to the man and would ask him to train him. Now, Jiraiya would see that blonde hair and know exactly who it is. But when he would see that Byakugan, he would be puzzled. Let me see, um, no kid, I, I got some research to do. It's not just his research, huh? It's not until we we'll then say, sexy jutsu. As he would then transform into a sexy jutsu, getting Jiraiya's attention. It's not until say, will you train me now? As Jiraiya would say, yeah, 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 I train you. As long as you allow me to do my research when the time comes. It's not just his fine. He says, but I have to go talk to the Okage about someone close to me. I'll see you later, kid. Meet back here tomorrow. Naruto would not. Naruto says, I should probably go see the old man after. So with the Okage, Jiraiya enters the office and he, um, and when he uh, sits down and puts a stamp, um, puts a seal on and creates a privacy barrier, he would then ask what happened to Naruto. Why does he have the Byakugan? So Yuzin would then tell him about Hinata and that Hinata wanted to give it to Naruto as like, you know, a, one last, her last gift. As he would then explain, Yuzin would then explain to Jiraiya that Hinata had a crush on Naruto and she wanted to help him reach the title of Hokage any way she can, even after she's dead. And decided to give him her Byakugan. So I says, oh, I thought some things had happened and he wasn't really his son. He is his son. <clears throat> well, so I'm going. That's all I really have to say. By the way, I'm going to be teaching him for the tuning exams. Oh, what are you going to teach him? So I says, well, since he has the Byakugan, I might teach him the summoning jutsu and the Rasengan. Hmm. Don't you think he's, you know, a little bit too, no, a little under chakra reserve? He doesn't have as much chakra, right? I've read his reports. I know he has a ton of chakra. To be able to produce that many clones, he definitely has enough chakra to mass um, to do the Rasengan many times if he can master it. Alright. <clears throat> I'll allow this. Now go on. And if you see, um, I believe. Oh. And I sent him now. Hit up and leave. As your eye would rip out the seal, and would leave. This is when Naruto would come in. He would say, hey, old man. Um, he says, ah, Naruto. I actually need to talk to you about something. Um, oh, okay. But what is it that you needed? Uh, I was just going to come and check on you. See if you defeated paperwork yet. She then begins to chuckle and says, very funny. He says, Naruto. <clears throat> Since you now have the eyes of the Byakugan. Unless you sign these papers right here, the Hugo clan can do whatever they want to you. They can rip the eyes out of you. They can, um, they can force you into a marriage into to one of their clans. So that, um, in case you ever decide to transplant the Byakugan into any of your children. So that they can keep it in the fam into the, into the Hugo clan. They already have one Byakugan user outside of the Hugo clan and Kiri, and they don't want another. So this is why I need you to sign this. Under the Hokage's order, the the Hugo clan or anyone, if anyone wants to try to steal your Byakugan, or he not Byakugan from you, 
and it was and I will interrogate have everyone at uh, the Hugo clan interrogate and find out if they ordered it and if not they will be set free but if so they will be put to death all right where do I sign right here you'll be living here for with me you'll be living with me from now on really yes it's the only way I can truly protect you okay wait oh man does Konohamaru live with you of course uh, well, at least I'll get to train him some more. As Susan says, oh no. What have I done? As Naruto signs the paper, as Susan says, alright, go gather your things. And I, um, I'll um, i come with you to gather your things and take you to my compound. As Naruto nods, and Susan and Naruto head off. So, you know, the next day, he Hiyashi and the, el well, the elders of the Yuga clan would come to put the case bird seal on Hinata. And this is when they will find out that Hinata had given away her Byakugan. As the Hugo mem the Hugo um the elders had gotten so angry that they end up killing he uh not Hugo. He they end up killing Hinata earlier. With the um with two strikes, one to the heart and one to the brain. Effectively killing her right in her um bed. And uh, here she would um would go to the council and would ask, um, call a council meeting. With the, uh, and would have his elders all, all of us in there. Now, here she would ask the Hokage, who did he not to give away her Byakugan? As the Hokage would say that she gave, she did an eye transplant with Naruto Uzumaki. Now, the civilians would immediately go into an uproar saying that they can't allow the demon to have the Byakugan, that that's treason for him to have that eye. That's, he's, you know, um, dishonoring the one of the noble clans of Konoha. The Yuzums, um would then tell them silence. As the three as the elders and Hiyashi said that um Naruto will have to either give up the eye or come or marry into the clan because now this is a clan matter. As you as Yuzum would then <clears throat> call in his secretary to pass out pieces of paper. Well especially well pass out papers to the um, Hugo clan heads and the Hugo clan head and his council members As they will all read it showing that this is nothing that they can do against Naruto They can't order anyone and if they do they'll be in t the entirety of the Hugo clan And uh, will be interrogated interrogated and if found out who did it if one of them did it They will be put to death and there's no Getting out of it at all. It's just death right away as he, as he would understand, as he would not decide, he would decide that he he knew how his daughter was, and if she entrusted something to Naruto, then and there he decided that he will allow this. But the elders don't want this, as they were leaving upwards. He she would say, "Thank you for informing me, Hokage." And she says, "Meeting adjourned." <clears throat> as Naruto, it, as well, we're back with Naruto. Naruto. The next day, we'll go to the hot springs. We'll meet up with Jiraiya. And Jiraiya will say, "All right, kid, I'm gonna teach you. Um, I'm gonna teach. Oh, that's. I'm gonna teach you a couple of techniques. Um, what are they? Well, it's the technique that the fourth Okage created, but that's not the main one. We're gonna teach you how to uh, walk on water and how to summon toads like me. Not to we'll jump up and down. Say, cool." So I says, all right, now let's begin. And this is where I'm beginning called part one of what if Naruto, what if Hinata gave Naruto her Byakugan? And I'm going to answer some questions now. How did Naruto, I know the um, Orochimaru has sealed away Naruto's chakra. So before the surgery, um, they had told he was in about Naruto's, well, Naruto's problem with the seal being appearing on, another seal appearing on his. When they lifted up his shirt, to, you know, for him to change it to the hospital gown, they saw that. And Hughesen was the one who undid the seal on Naruto. So yes, that's how the Kyuubi was able to heal his eyes. Um, why did I kill off Hinata? I just feel like that. And what's with the um? Is this what Naruto's gonna look like now? From now on, yes, it is. Naruto's gonna wear that jacket as you can see in the thumbnail. This is what he looks like. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace and goodbye.